you think you have the rarest shiny Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet? Because you probably don't. But luckily, Shiny Gimmigal is returning. If you missed it the first time, you really need to make sure you don't miss it again. Other incredibly rare shiny Pokemon are being added to Scarlet and Violet as well, and you probably won't see them again for a very long time, so I'd recommend you stick until the very end of the video so we can discuss how you can catch them as well. The rarest of these Pokemon, Shiny Gimmigal, was in Terror Raids um, about a year ago, I think July 2023. But from August 9th to August 22nd, it will be finally returning. I've said this before, but Gimme Ghoul is arguably the rarest shiny Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, so you really don't want to miss this. While Gimme Ghoul is appearing in 1 to 5 star Terror Raids, Watchrel, Riolu, and Comfy will be found. Comfy? Comfy? Watchrel, Riolu, and Comfy will be found in Mass Outbreaks across Paldea, Kitakami, and Blueberry Academy. The Mass Outbreaks are pretty underwhelming, but I wanted to talk about them first before we get into talking about how to catch shiny Gimme Ghoul, so make sure to stick around for that. From July 12th to 25th, the 7 star Terra Water Pikachu will be returning. If you didn't catch it the first time, you can catch it again, but also at the same time there'll be mass outbreaks for Pichu, Pikachu, Mimikyu, Raichu, and Alolan Raichu. It is very important to note that you cannot catch Alolan Raichu in Scarlet and Violet outside of this event. If you wanted to have a personality mark or a time of day or a weather mark, this is your only chance at the moment. From July 26th to August 8th, Dondozo will be a 7 star raid, meaning this is the first time you can catch it with the mightiest mark. After Gimme Ghoul shows up from the 9th to the 22nd of August, Dragonite will then show up in 7 star terror raid battles from the 23rd to the 1st of September. Once again, this is the first time you can catch it with the mightiest mark. Both Dragonite and Dondozo, I'd really recommend catching them. This will likely be the only chance you'll have to catch these mightiest mark Pokemon. Alongside Dragonite though, there are once again a series of mass outbreaks. In Paldea you can find Larvitar and Bagon, in Blueberry Academy you can find Beldum, and in Kitakami you can find Gumi and Hisuian Sligu. This is the first time Hisuian Sligu has appeared outside of Pokemon Legends Arceus, and will likely be the last time until perhaps Legend ZA or Generation 10. This will also be the first time you can give it certain marks like the Destiny mark, as well as certain weather marks which are unavailable in Sword and Shield, including the Misty Mark. Since these mass outbreaks take place in Kitakami, you will be able to get a Suian Sligger with the Misty Mark for the first time. While most of these events are very straightforward, I want to go over the Gimme Ghoul event uh, more in depth. When this event first rolled around, you had to encounter it in five star Terror Raids specifically. And on top of this, the shiny rate is actually fixed at 1 in 4103.05. So keep in mind, you will be hunting for quite a while. On top of all this, it's actually really hard to tell the difference between a regular and a shiny Gimme Ghoul. Unless you have like superhuman vision or something, you'll likely have to catch every single Gimme Ghoul you encounter. You can then go to the summary screen for each of them, and if it's shiny, it'll have a little icon. I'm definitely going to be hunting these when the event rolls around, so if you want to see that, I would heavily encourage you to subscribe. And if you want to watch a video of me catching a shiny Pokemon I lost seven years ago, you can click on the video on screen and it will take you there. It was a really emotional journey, I can't lie.